Hello guys. I am in a very hot Walmart parking lot while my husband is getting water. So I wanted to do a quick video about authority and if I get interrupted, I'll have to do it later. Anyway, I hadn't spent time with God. I've been so busy ramping up my ministry with uh, helping authors publish their books and and uh, getting back into ventriloquism uh, and so on and you know getting ready for my husband to retire so I've been neglecting God so to speak I I haven't I've been so busy I haven't spent the time that I am supposed to spend um, with God and by supposed I mean God told me to go for a walk every morning and pray in tongues and it's really important to me and it really makes a difference and I haven't been doing that so yesterday morning I got to go for a walk and he was just chattering away waiting for me to go for that walk he's just chattering and chattering away and he told me and reminded me of some stuff and I wanted to share them with you and he was talking about authority that we have and I want to stay looking young even though I'm 60 the car was just moving um, I want to stay looking young and I want to keep all my tooth I had a tooth pull right there so I have a hole and I don't know if I can get a um, a cap or not a cap but you know a fake tooth there or not because Alan's quitting uh, retiring and insurance might not cover it so my thoughts are I don't want to lose any more teeth and I want to look young so God showed me some scripture I always want scripture he he reminded me he said your youth is renewed like an eagle and I always had a negative thought about that because people talk about how eagles pull their feathers out um, when they get to a certain age um, they pull their feathers out they break their beak off and their feathers and beak grow back and people talked about it in a negative way so I always saw that negatively but God showed me yesterday what he really meant when he said that he said I, he renews our youth like an eagle well when the, the eagle pulls out its feathers and breaks its beak so it can grow something new and he said he renews my youth so when I lose a tooth I should by the fact of he renews my youth like an eagle I should be able to grow another tooth and so when you lose something um, in your body that you need to stay looking young or to be young it should be able to be replaced like an eagle the feathers are replaced uh, with young youthful beautiful feathers and so is the beak a strong healthy beak so that is my scripture for staying young and beautiful uh, our youth is renewed like an eagle's and then he was talking about authority he said to me you know how God says one word and when you explain it to someone else you have to say it in about like three minute ten minute discussion well if you go into the book of Genesis every uh, seven days uh, every day in those seven days he creates something that's under our authority and he created light and darkness he, and he reminded me that he created the stars in the sky for the seasons he created day and night so we have authority and dominion over time think about that he created the times and the seasons and the stars and the moon and the sun for day and night and time to mark the times and seasons so think about that we have authority over time and seasons and here's another one he pointed out to me yesterday which I thought was really cool he said uh, when Jonah ran away from Nineveh and sat down to watch Nineveh it was really really hot so God grew a plant over him overnight to give him shade well we want a garden so if God can grow one plant overnight so big that it covers Jonah's head and gives him um, shade then he can take care of our garden he can grow fruits and vegetables and different things uh, overnight without bugs and, and that's a scripture you can take to believe for uh, your trees your your nature that is on your property and then you have the one um, uh, for the your teeth or whatever else eyesight whatever and there's one particular for eyesight um, Abraham went up to the mountain uh, and his eyesight was not weakened and then up there he died I think it was Abraham that God pointed out to me yesterday that if a man that's a hundred and some years old did not need glasses there is no reason that we at any age should need 
glasses. So that's a scripture of that we can use for our eyes. So we got scriptures for our eyes and our teeth for youthfulness um, and authority and dominion over time, over day and over night. And so God just, I thought that was some really cool scriptures. And I like to go to Genesis and look at the time of creation. If you look through all the creation, all the animals, he didn't create them so that they could bite us, sting us, give us poison, and plants, and so on. We have authority and dominion over them, so we need, we should be able to talk to these things, command, you know, I do, I say, any poison snakes, you're not allowed on my property. You're not allowed, when I go for a walk, you're not allowed in the street, either, because my steps are ordered of the Lord, and I'm not going to step on a snake. Excuse me. Also, um, I'm not going to get poison ivy, because I have authority over the plants. I, I shouldn't have to put up with that. I should use my faith because I have authority and dominion over those things. So go through in the beginning the, the six days and all those things. God gave us authority and dominion over all those things. And he gave us, uh, um, I'm still looking for scriptures. He renews my youth like an eagle. Well, I'm looking for, I know that menopause is under the curse and because of the fall of a man, of man. So I'm looking for some scriptures. So if you find some scriptures that we can claim about not having menopausal symptoms, um, I make sure you put them underneath here because I think that's pretty important. Menopause is under the curse and I don't think we should have to go through menopause. I hate menopause. I hardly have any symptoms now, but I still do have little and I still hate it. It's under the curse. Um, just like you can have childbirth. Childbirth with pain is under the cur curse. You should be able to have childbirth without painkillers and naturally not have pain. Uh, anyway, there's a really good book about that out. So I just wanted to share with you those kind of facts that God shared with me about authority and dominion and ruling and having uh, being youthful and so on. So share it with your friends if you like it, if you got anything out of it. Um, and here comes the advertisement. If you are an author um, and uh, my prices are going up, because it's a lot of work. When I'm working three, four, and five authors at a time, it's a lot, a lot of work. So it's not going to be $300 for very long. I think about September 1st, my price is going to go from $300 up to $400. So if you know somebody who is a Christian author, especially that's my niche, a Christian author that wants to publish a book, I charge $300. I publish a book, turn it into a print book, a Kindle book, open all their accounts, get their ISBN number, get a professional book cover for a print and um, Kindle, and uh, um, get their keywords and, and everything, do everything for them. Within about 30 days, they'll have a print book in their hand and a Kindle book and become an author. I also promote them. I also build websites for my authors. For $300, we build you a website. My team builds you a website. For uh, $75, I promote your book. I just got another book up to the top 100. It was like 200,000 he started at. And in one day, I got him up to number one. So I can promote your book for $75 for one free Kindle day, $150 for two free Kindle free days. No, three days, three days. And $300 to promote it within 90 days to use all five of your Kindle free days. I can promote it. If I promote your book and it doesn't go up higher in rank, you don't have to pay me. That's the deal. Because I'm so sure that I can get your book up higher than it currently is right now. And when your rank gets up higher, that means that Amazon notices you and they begin to promote you. And you can legally say that you are a best-selling author. If you get in the top 100, I got almost at least a third of my books have been consistently in number one spot when I promote them. And they're all in top 100 to the top 1,000 spots consistently even without promoting them so I have the tools and the ability and the knowledge and the favor to get your books up there so I promote the books I built websites I publish books I um, enhance your Kindle uh, description which looks like Amazon's promoting you which is important and I also get your reviews for $75 I get you 70 um, top reviewers that have reviewed Christian books similar to yours and I give you a template so that all you have to do is um, fill in your name of your book and your name and your email and send it to them and uh, do about five a day out of that 70 and they'll begin to do reviews for you and that's a key thing and that's $75 that is so valuable to get reviews because uh, people buy things that other people review anyway so that's what I do that was my advertisement 
And if you need to hire a ventriloquist in Tulsa, you can hire me because I'm also a ventriloquist. So, my name is Robin Bremer. I know you all know that already. .net is my website. Check it out. Share this with your social media sites and your friends and so on. I, I hope that this video that I do for you guys is blessed. Check out my new website. I am looking to create, to get a new template from a website. If anybody knows a good one that has um, sliders going across and I don't have to do any programming because I hate to program. I don't know how to program. I just have to, I just know how to do simple stuff. Okay. Love you all. Talk to you later. Have a blessed, prosperous, healthy, fun weekend. Bye.